protests. And we begin tonight with growing protests around the world. Crowds standing in solidarity with anti-government protesters in Iran. Fired up over the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died while in the custody of Iran's feared morality police. Hundreds of members of the local Iranian community rallied in Roseville today to show their solidarity. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo spoke with women who've moved to the Sacramento area after fleeing Iran. Hundreds of people are in Roseville speaking out against Iran's morality police following the in-custody death of a young woman. Many people gathered here are from Iran and say that woman could have easily been them. We are fighting for Iran! We are fighting for Iran! For 43 years people have been fighting for this, so I think it was just like the last straw. These Iranian women say they've had enough of what they call oppression in their home country. And I can promise you Every single Iranian woman has been harassed and assaulted and, you know, dehumanized by the morality police. It's not like an isolated incident. Nairika, who fled Iran for Sacramento 10 years ago, is talking about the in-custody death of 22-year-old Masha Amini, who was arrested in Iran for not wearing her headscarf properly. I mean, I'm so sorry that people of Iran, uh, they're deprived of their uh, very basic rights, but I'm really glad to be here and I'm forever so grateful to have this uh, freedom of choice. The crowd rallying here in Roseville say any woman in Iran could be next. I'm worried every time my mom goes out of the house, she's going to get shot or killed or beaten to death, you know. Um, and all my family, everything, all my relatives are there. It's why protests like this one are growing and getting louder. They're speaking out for those who can't as they push for progress. I know that I have a lot of privileges to do this safely, and I know that I was able to get out of there, but many people weren't. So I do identify with that because I am Iranian and I did live there and I did experience it. And Hoping their voice and message can be heard all the way in Iran, where human rights groups say nearly 200 demonstrators have been killed in nationwide protests. We consider them as terrorists. They're killing our youth. Many people in the crowd are calling on the U.S. to cease negotiations over a nuclear deal and stop recognizing a regime that openly kills protesters. Our Bridget Biorlo reporting there. Today's rally marked the fifth anti-regime protest in the Sacramento area. Another one is planned for next weekend.